Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud, and today I'm doing a much requested video. I'll be going through how to install VATSIM for Microsoft Flight Simulator from start to connection, meaning you can fly straight away after this tutorial. I'm not going to keep you long on the intro, so just be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you love everything about aviation, but now let's get into this video. Okay, so welcome to the VATSIM website, it's VATSIM.net, all, all the links are in the description. The first thing you're going to want to do is go up to Pilots and Software. Now at this point it will ask you to sign in to download this software, you can download it from another website but I think this is the best way. To sign up, I believe there's a sign up button somewhere, if not just go back here and click join here. Then you can find the sign up page when you click on this link. And there we go, you just enter your personal details in there. But anyway, let's go back to where we were. As I'm signed in on a new computer, since I've reset my computer, it may ask you stuff like this. Just click authorise. Remember to not share your VATSIM details with anybody else because, of course, they can log in under you and kind of get you banned. So that brings you to this very nice page. And the thing you're going to want to download for Microsoft Flight Simulator is vPilot. You could have gone to this link, but I prefer it like this because it means you have to sign up first. I should say sign up does take quite a while normally. It takes about 24 hours before I got the email, I think. Then go up to here and click download. Download stable. The .exe file should download pretty quickly. Hopping into vPilots is kind of your normal Windows installer. Select the destination folder as always, I'm doing it on my SSD. And there we go, there is vPilot installed, the first big step. Now after your first installation it may ask you this, click yes. And it will ask you for your VATSIM username, your password, your full name, your, your home airport and the server. I'm going to go UK1. It is essential that you put these details in, otherwise you won't be able to connect. There we go, there's all my details in, click apply. Then you're going to want to go over to microphone input. Mine is my HyperX Quadcast, which I'm using to record now. And my output will be the headphones on my head. Move these sliders up so when you're talking it remains in the green band. Of course I don't really need to worry about output, but if I were to worry about my microphone, you can move it up and you can see about there is probably good. Then go over to push to talk, set your push to talk button on mine, it is the square button on the Thrustmaster Hotas 4. You can see, very easy to connect, it just connects straight away. Click apply, and there you go, that is the first part of installing VATSIM with Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you were to go on FS2020 now and click connect, after of course I put OK, then you get loads of red text saying no vPilot models found. Now I'm going to show you how to install models for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Shout out to British Avgeek if he's watching, I believe I'm using part of his software for this. He did a very good job, it works very well. So how model making works on Microsoft Flight Simulator is that it takes the data from the network and then basically places an aircraft with that. Now if you were to load up with Microsoft Flight Simulator and connect it would probably just be filled with A320s and you'd have quite a few aircraft that weren't actually injected into your sim. Because of this we have model matching which is basically a large library of aircraft models uh, including aircraft that are not in the sim and they're able to be placed into the sim via this library. Let's set this up now. So to do this we're actually using the IVAO network kind of model matching service and all you have to do, I agree of course, and click download. The link is in the description, ivao.aero forward slash soft dev forward slash beta forward slash altitude beta, the, the pilot client being altitude. Now you can delete this after we've installed the models but we're going to download it now. You can see here altitude for Microsoft Flight Simulator and we'll go current version. Okay so we've got it downloaded now, run the exe. Now over the next few steps it can be a bit time consuming so just stay with me guys. Honestly the results are very good, you're going to love them. Make sure you select your community file, get everything in there. Now as warned this bit does take quite a while even with my quite quick internet so I'll see you in a minute. Okay so it's successfully installed now, be aware it does take quite a while, took just over an hour for me with my quite fast internet. Make sure it's in your community file so make sure you've got ivao underscore x dash csl in your community file. You may also see an ivao file here 
with less decor stuff in. Now you've got the most parts done, all you need to do now is download something that will link the IVAO models to vPilot. To do that, head onto this link, it is the custom vPilot VMR for Microsoft Flight Simulator for VATSIM. I put a link for all of these in the description. Shout out to Mr. Mercury who worked on this one. We're also going to use the one by British Avgeek, which is another fantastic one. This one is kind of as a fullback. I install both of them, they seem to work just fine. It's a backup that goes off the livery mega pack. Now, I haven't installed the livery pack today, so you won't actually see this one in action. But basically, all it does is replace the aircraft if the IVAO aircrafts aren't compatible with the aircraft you want to replace. Quite the tongue twister there but it's a must have if you want to have vast amounts of air traffic in different liveries if you're not too bothered then maybe you don't really need to worry about it so download it here now watch carefully at this point you're going to want to extract everything in this file i'm just going to put it back into my downloads open the vmr package and then in documents you're going to find vpilot files and drop airlines.vmr into here. Now I will admit there's quite a bit of flip flopping so all you're going to want to do is go back onto this website and go onto the Microsoft Flight Simulator vPilot model matching by British Avgeek. Once you've downloaded that it should say British Avgeek's VATSIM Microsoft Flight Simulator model matching. Extract it of course. Open it up. And this is important, if you've got standard edition, click on here and drag the VMR file in. If you've got the deluxe version, drag the premium deluxe version. This is because of the 787 primarily. Now I think you can just put one of the files in here, although you get a much broader variety of aircraft if you put both in. So be sure you put both in here. Just to wrap it up. Download this, fi download this file here and this file here, extract them and put them into your vPilot files. It does seem quite complex to start with, but it's relatively simple once you look at it. And that, my friends, is VATSIM with model matching basically fully set up. All you're going to want to now is load up your sim. Okay, so you can now load up Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can see we're here at beautiful Gatwick Airport with VATSIM off. And then I'm just going to go back home and make sure you find vPilot and run it as admin. This is quite important. Click yes, of course. Okay, it's found my custom models, which is good. I'm now going to go into settings. To make sure it connects with your custom models, go into settings, go to model matching, click model matching, and then click this little plus here. Go to custom rules, add rule set, vPilot files, and then choose airlines VMR. And you could also add the other one. Doesn't really matter what way you do it. Click apply. There we go. You can see it's loaded our custom models in. Hop back into the sim. I'm spawned at Red Hill Airport at the moment. So I'm not actually flying. Just observing. Let's click connect. I'll go um, observer. I won't give myself a call sign. I'll just go T golf. There's my call sign. We're a C172. There we go. And uh, I'll just connect you like, as observer. Right, okay. And as it loads, you can see we do get some aircraft errors because not everything is in, although it has been replaced with a different model. And you can see we've got aircraft popping in now. Welcome to VATSIM. Now, I should say it doesn't put all of the aircraft into the correct place. You could simply eliminate this problem by installing the livery mega pack, and most of the aircraft would be substituted. At the moment, they're substituted with default Microsoft Flight Simulator aircraft. But if you wanted to, you could just put the livery mega pack in, and that would utilize British Avgeeks files. I just haven't had the time to come around it yet. But if you guys were to follow this tutorial with the livery mega pack installed, you have less errors but most of the ones are linked you can see we've got some new aircraft down here now British Airways A320 coming in we've got an aircraft up there if you want to substitute your aircraft you can just reset it with I don't know an A320 or whatever but I prefer I don't mind having the default with Sobo let's go take a look around right here we've got an EasyJet A320 a Scandinavian Air Services 737 we don't have the 737 in the default Microsoft Flow Simulator so it's nice to have that now, of course, it doesn't work perfectly just because VATSIM isn't completely synced with what the scenery is like, so therefore that's why it's in there. Beautiful little EasyJet aircraft taxiing down Juliet at the moment, I believe. Just a word of warning, you will get duplicate aircraft sometimes, and this is simply because Microsoft Flight Simulator places static aircraft down. If you want to get rid of this, I believe you can turn it off in settings. 
It's pretty cool having live traffic come around on that sim. Shout out to Mr. Mercury and British Avgeek for making the files. You can see a wide variety of aircraft here at London Heathrow. All British Air all British Airways because well this is British Airways Terminal, Terminal 5. So there you have it, how to set up VATSIM with Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have to say it works very well. Of course Microsoft Flight Simulator isn't 100% compatible with it all yet. And model matching is quite a pain to set up but the results are certainly worth it. If you install the livery mega pack, of course you get more liveries for more aircraft, so you might see a wider variety of aircraft, but I haven't included that today just because I've deleted the livery mega pack after I reset my computer. A summary is in the description, or you can just flip back. The basic setup of that sim is very easy, although it's slightly more difficult when you of course install the models. Not many 737s because British Airways don't operate them, but we see the Scandinavian one. Thanks for watching this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks to British Avgeek and Mr Mercury for making the files, they're very well made. Have a fantastic day guys, bye bye. <laughs>